here in London. Yes, we're in Fitzrovia and we are here with the amazing Amal Savar and he is the founder of Notel. And we're here at your beautiful location. Oh, How does it like feel? It. How does it feel That's great. <laughs> to be at your location? Yeah, I, like it. I love it. It's really beautiful. But I wouldn't think anything less of you guys at Notel. So tell me, we're here today at Bitcoin CRE and you just gave a great presentation about Notel Coin. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the no child coin is our project to clean up real estate information. Real estate information is super messy, yeah. yet it's extremely important. People make huge and valuable decisions based on it, and we find that we make lots of bad decisions based on all this bad information right. and we're sweeping up afterwards. And so we are creating a protocol along with a bunch of really big uh, and interesting partners that we will announce in due course mm -hmm. uh, for creating the best and most reliable data set of buildings, yes. listings, leases and financials on on every office building in the world. Wow, this is incredible stuff. I mean, obviously you guys know first and forehand what the commercial real estate space is like working with Notel and creating Notel. Let's just go back a little bit to Notel because last time we caught up, it was about, I think it was about two years ago, or a year and a half ago at least, at one of your Inbox Awesome events, and you have since grown, and you've since raised a cool 75 mil, I might say. So tell us, what has that journey been like, and you know, how are you here now in London? Yeah, we've been expanding the business a lot. We started in January 2016 with one location that had 10,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, we made the business 10 times bigger, then another 10 times bigger, and now we're at 1.2 million square feet in three cities, wow. New York. San Francisco and London. We'll finish the year with hundreds of hotels in maybe half a dozen cities. And um, we're just, we're getting bigger at an ever accelerating rate. Yeah, you are. Do you need about three of yourself by now? <laughs> I know I do, and I'm just a small company, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I have 200 of myself. Right. An extraordinary group of colleagues yeah. that does everything, and I get to waste my time with you just to yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, chit chatting here, back, and back. It's quite a beautiful location, I must say. How many events do you have here? And also, most importantly, how long have you guys been open here in um, Fitzroy? Yeah, well, this, uh, so Notel 45 Whitfield here in Fitzroy, we, um, it's already full. And uh, we have maybe 10 more that are in the pipeline and opening soon. So we will have more Notels for all wow. of our happy CEOs that are floating around and, and asking for space. Um, and it has been uh, really interesting to figure out how London works. And yeah. we're now going to figure it out. We're going to do quite a lot here. Yeah, it's a different ecosystem. Obviously, there are a few co-working spaces around. We won't name them, but there are, they are around. And it's an interesting market. Yeah, for sure. What we're working on is something to solve our own problem. Our own problem is we're doing so many deals on so much property. We were something like 30% of all the transactional activity in a neighborhood called Midtown South in New York City uh, this year to date, the last 100 days. We're 10 or 15% of all the activity in the financial district, we're 10 or 15% in Midtown. And the same thing's gonna happen in London very soon, in San Francisco, other cities. We're such a big market participant, and yet we have this problem of bad information. And so we thought, well, let's build a tool, a platform, that both lets us publish and improve our information, but invites the participation of others. Yeah. There's nobody who benefits from crappy information. I think yeah. everybody would like it yeah. to be better. Yeah. But it's a cooperation and coordination problem. And that's something that, that blockchain as a, as a protocol helps improve. The internet was a way of moving information around, mm -hmm. and blockchain is a way of moving truth around. Right. And that basic innovation, this may be the most valuable application of the entire concept to the real estate information. It's a huge asset class. It's $30 trillion worth of office in the world. I love this. It's so true. It's like, it's a truth teller, right? It's transparency at its core. So it's almost, I mean, it tells huge, right? You are the leaders today in that sector, and if you guys know that there's a challenge there and you can solve it, then definitely you're going to do it. <laughs> so thank you for that. So tell me, um, what do you guys hope to get out of events like this? Like Bitcoin, CRE, like obviously for your members and your startups, it's a great, you know, other string to their bow, they can get involved. But what kind of things are you looking to bring to London event-wise and just the whole no-tail branding in general? Well, no-tail does agile headquarters, mm -hmm. which means we serve companies with space that changes. Right. The way people run companies these days, uh, the, the word agile figures prominently in agile development, agile product design, mm -hmm. and they don't actually get, them, get themselves on a platform that supports this. Notels are made for change. They're made right. to 
let you change how long you're in a space, how much space you have, the way the space works. It can go from an event space to a seated um, desk space to a bunch of private conference rooms, like virtually overnight. And we yeah. are changing the way spaces get built. Yeah. We used to, all of us, our society used to build through construction. And increasingly, about a third of all the dollars we spend as we're fitting out hotels is no longer about construction, it's about assembly. Right. It's stuff that you can put together, take apart, move around. It's meeting rooms and telephone booths and reception areas. We even recently, we invented and have now deployed a kitchen yeah. that comes in a box. It's a kitchen that our guys just walk in through the elevator, open up, put it all together in a couple hours, and in the same couple hours can take it down and move it around. There has never been uh, an office interior environment that can be so easily mixed and matched and changed around. And that's what companies will need in the future. That's what we can make. It's all about customization, right? It's about, it's about knowing your community, your startup, your founder. So tell me, how does someone onboard into the no-tell ecosystem? Say they're a founder, like, is there, you know, um, a criteria they have to fit? Can they just apply? Like, what's kind of, what do you have to do to be part of the no-tell family? Uh, no-tell runs these agile offices for companies. And one common misconception, you know, people are like, oh, I've been to Soho House, or I've been to, you know, WeWork or something. I, I know about co-working clubs or professional suites like Regis. People are familiar with that. The thing that we're doing is so different from that that it, it, it takes people a minute to, to figure it out. I mean, if you are here now looking around, it's obvious to. We're running offices, we're running floors of buildings, entire buildings. Yeah. And the companies that come here, they're just companies. Yeah. You know, yeah. we want to help founders to do yeah. great things and so let them get on a platform where they can make it bigger and smaller. So yeah. we're not interviewing people for that. Ah, I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can you can get involved. You can be part of No Tell. Don't worry. They're not elitist. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I mean, we're here to help. And yeah. um, you know, it does turn out that we're not the ideal solution for somebody who's like five or ten or fifteen people. Sure. sure. So working exists. Please yeah. make yes. use of it. Yes. And then when you graduate from co-working and your operation is really rolling, then you'll come to us. And some of the largest companies in the world have come to us. We're no longer even about um, smaller startup I mean, I, I love them. This is yeah. why I yeah. work in venture. Yeah. But now, you know, like uh, Starbucks, Microsoft, the Body Shops Global Headquarters, like a bunch of just yeah. huge household names have their people at hotels. Not all. Not well, like just some people we know, the body shops, and did you mention the Microsofts? Just yeah. a few we know, yeah. yes. Oh, that's fantastic. I love this. So, okay, so you've got Notel Coin, you're expanding Notel here in London. What else do you have up your sleeve, Mom? Because I feel like you've always got something up and coming. Is there anything else you're not telling us? <laughs> There's a lot of There's a lot of right? to come back and interview me again. I will, I will. I'm going to be back to the Big Apple, don't worry about that. Well, look, so great to catch up with you, especially in London town. And you are looking quite the part, I must add. <laughs> you are looking quite the part, uh, like a London gent, I would say. So, look, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much for your time. Climbing up on South